Hey folks, Philly Boy J here back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make some banging tuna macaroni salad. This recipe was requested by a few of my subscribers. A few weeks ago I showed you guys how to make regular macaroni salad. But today I'm going to show you guys how to make tuna macaroni salad. I think you're going to love this recipe so make sure you give it a shot. The full recipe can be found on phillyjcooking.com. The link to my website can be found down below in the video description box. So, the summer is coming to a close. Labor Day is coming up. Families love to throw cookouts during the summer, especially for Memorial's Day, 4th of July, and Labor's Day. And what's that one thing or food that people always bring to cookouts? Salads. And that's the reason why I've been showing you guys so many salad recipes lately. So... I'm going to show you guys my recipe for tuna macaroni salad since that seems to be a fan favorite in America at least. People love tuna macaroni salad along with potato salad. So let's get straight to it and talk about the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some elbow macaroni. You're going to need some tuna fish. I'm using chunk light tuna. I like to use chunk light tuna because I think that it has more flavor. and. I drain the juice. Make sure you drain all of the juice from your tuna because it will make your salad a sloppy mess and you do not want that. Okay? And I use the tuna that come in a can of water. Not the tuna that come in a can of oil, a tuna that come in a can of water. Okay? Here I have some mayo. You're going to need that. You're going to need regular yellow mustard, sweet relish, a bunch of seasonings to take the salad to another level. Here I have some chopped vegetables. I have some chopped pickles chopped red bell peppers, chopped green bell peppers, chopped celery, and chopped red onions. You can use a yellow onion or a white onion. As I always tell you guys, I use red onions because I'm superficial and I want my salad to look pretty. Okay? So I use the red onions and I use the red bell peppers for decoration purposes. Um, you can just use chopped green bell peppers. So I'm using red bell peppers and red onions just to give the salad color. And you're going to need four large size eggs. I'm going to be boiling about six of them because I like to top my tuna macaroni salad with eggs to make it look nice and presentable. Okay, so make sure you have all those ingredients. Let's move on to the first step. Okay, guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to get a large size pot. To the pot, you're going to add a little salt. And you're going to fill it with cool water. And you're going to place the pot of salted water over high heat. Once it comes to a boil, you're going to add the elbow macaroni. Okay, then you're going to get a small pot. What you're going to do is you're going to place your eggs into the small pot. And you're going to fill it with cold water. And you're only going to add enough water to cover the eggs by an inch. Okay? So you want the water to come an inch above the eggs. Then you're going to place the eggs over high heat as well. Okay, so what I did off camera is I added two more eggs to the pot and I'm going to use those two eggs for decoration purposes. Because the eggs are not done, they will bump against each other and bump against the sides of the pot and crack if you allow the water to come to a rolling boil. Once that water comes to a rolling boil and it start bubbling like you see now, it's going to cause a lot of movement in the pot with the eggs and you may risk you know them hitting each other and cracking so right when the water comes to a boil you a little before it comes to a rolling boil you what you're going to do is you're going to cut the fire off like i'm doing now and you're going to cover them with a top and let them sit in the pot until they're fully cooked okay 
All right, folks, so the big pot of water has now come to a boil. So before it comes to a rolling boil and it starts splashing all over the place and burning my skin, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is add the macaroni and I'm going to let it boil you for about 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna drain it ASAP. All right, so the eggs been sitting in this hot pot of water for some time now. So I'm sure they're done. What I'm gonna do, and what you're gonna do as well, is you're gonna get a bowl, you're gonna fill it with cold water. And you're going to scoop out your eggs and place them in the bowl of cold water. Once they chill, we will crack the shell and chop them up. So let's give the egg time to cool off. Because the last thing you want to do is manage hot behind eggs. I ain't burning my, my pretty fingers. <laughs> All right. So give the eggs time to chill. Okay, folks. So as you can see, the macaroni is done. It's fully cooked. As I always tell you guys, make sure you remove your pasta immediately once it's done because if you let it sit in the water any longer than it needs to it's going to get bloated fat and ugly okay and the last thing you want is soggy macaroni we don't want no obese heavy set macaroni we don't do those all right now on the philly boy j cooking show <laughs> so we're going to drain the macaroni immediately this is the look that you want your macaroni to have all right and the cooking process will not stop here it will continue cooking the macaroni that is if you just let it sit after removing it from the hot water so to speed up the cooling process and to stop the cooking process, you want to not only run some cool water on it, but kind of make sure every part of this gets rinsed with some cool water. So to cool down, all right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the shell from the eggs. And there's a particular way that I do it. I always crack my eggs and then I peel the shell under running water and the running water serves as a lubricant so I kind of lubricate the eggs with the water and I peel the shell off and doing that makes the shell slide right off look how easily it's coming off I'm going to remove all the shells from the eggs and I'll get back with you guys once I'm done. Alright, so we're getting ready to combine all the ingredients. This is pretty much the last and final step, but what we have to do first is chop the eggs. And I don't chop my eggs in any particular way, I just kind of chop them up. I know some people like to chop up the yolk first, but I just chop it up any old way into small pieces. Chop the egg and the yolk at the same time, just like this here. Don't nobody got time to be being fancy. Okay, so just chop your egg up like this. Okay guys, so I already have my mayo 
in my mixing bowl. All we have to do now is combine the ingredients. So the first thing that I'm going to add to the mayo is the seasonings. All right. I'm going to whisk the seasonings in. Like that there. Okay, then I'm going to add the condiments, the relish, and I didn't drain the juice from the relish because I want the salad to be kind of loose going into the refrigerator to chill because it stiffens up as it's in the refrigerator and I don't want the salad to be dry, okay? So I'm going to add the condiments. I'm going to go ahead and just throw in the tuna fish and I'm going to toss in the eggs. All right. And I'm just going to fold it in. I think all my spoons are in a dishwasher, so I'm going to use this. This is actually better than a spoon. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to add the pickles, the bell peppers, the onions, and celery. And I never used to add pickles to my tuna macaroni salad until I seen my grandma do it. And I asked, I said, Grandma, you putting pickles in your tuna macaroni salad? And she was like, yeah, you never tried that before? And I said, no, pickles, not even a funny face. Like, oh, what you doing, Grandma? I know you know how to throw down in the kitchen, but pickles? And what it does is it gives the salad balance. There are a few sweet ingredients that we use in this tuna macaroni salad. And the pickles just kind of provide a slight bitter tarty taste, for lack of a better word. And so you get a combination of sweet and sour. And it just really works well with this salad. So I'm going to stir all of the vegetables in my macaroni has chilled I just checked it so it's time to add that now so I'm going to add the macaroni I'm going to add a little bit of it first And I'm going to mix it in. Look at that. This tuna macaroni salad is the busy bomb bomb. You guys are really going to love this. Especially once it chills. Mm, 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 mm. And you can always customize this recipe and use other or additional vegetables you can use whatever kind of tuna fish you like best you can add some more or different condiments and feel free to add more mayo if you feel like you need to I'm gonna add the rest of this now And that's pretty much it guys. This is how Philly Boy J make tuna macaroni salad. And my tuna macaroni salad is flavorful. It's well balanced. Has a lot of different flavors to it. It's the perfect tuna macaroni salad. Don't get no better than this. 
follow it to a T. Take it to the family cookout, and I think you and they will love it. I know you and they will love it.